Okay, the, in this video, I go over another problem, a little bit larger problem, and I work from uh, the calculation of average and average times, time variances, as well as uh, calculate the critical path. But I, I show you how to do it in Excel using Excel formula as opposed to doing it by hand. So here, here's the problem. We've got, we've got a, a, a project composed of this many activities. These are the precedent relationships. So C can't start until A and B is done. And this is the picture of that if we would do an activity on node. So you can see we have the start. A and B uh, can begin immediately. C can't start until after A and B. You work your way all the way down. And uh, the trick is what activity is attached to the finish node. And in this case, it's just K. Uh, the rule is that if it's not listed in the precedent relationships, then it, is list it is, has to be linked to the finish node. So you can see all the activities are listed except activity K. So we're not given this information. We're not given any of that. We're just given the uh, time estimates. And our time estimates are, uh, are threefold. We've got a, a best case, a, a mode, most likely, and a pessimistic. So from these, I can calculate an average. The average is a, a, is a weighted average where we take one part optimistic plus four parts most likely plus one part pessimistic divided by six. The variance is the pessimistic minus the optimistic squared divided by 36. These formulas are in any uh, project management textbook. There's some uh, theory behind it uh, based on uh, the beta distribution. Uh, I'll let you read about that somewhere else. But we can calculate the average and the variance and copy that formula down. Now we can do the critical path method. Remember, the formula for the earliest finish and the later start are just canned formulas. And the, the start node is just zero. But these two formulas, the earliest finish is just equal to the earliest start plus the average time. And the latest start is just equal to the latest finish minus the average time. So these two formulas I can just copy straight down. The trick is the earliest start and the latest finish. So the earliest start for the start is just zero. That's when it can always start. But after that, how do I determine what the earliest start for A is? Well, since A is equal to its predecessor as the start node, I can reference that. And B is also equal uh, to the, its predecessor as the start node. Activity C has two predecessors. Take the max of those. Activity D has one predecessor, the C node. Activity E also has the C. Activity F has the E, G has the C, and again, all I'm looking at is I'm looking for the formula ref. I've already written the formula. I'm just showing you how you would do it. H has three uh, predecessors, so I've got to take the max of B, F, and G. H has two. J has one, H. K has I and J as its predecessors. And then the finish node has exactly one predecessor, which is K. We wrap around the finish node, so we make the latest finish equal to the uh, earliest start, or the earliest, excuse me, that should actually be the earliest finish, but it doesn't make any difference. It actually should be this. And now we go do the backward pass. So you don't have to go backwards, but that's how I think of this. I look at what is the successor of K. Um, it should be the successor of K is the finish. It's, it's there. The successor of uh, J is K. The successor of I, and I have to look at the network, is K. The successor of H Right there is J. 
You can work your way all the way up. I'll keep doing it. G is H. F is the smaller of I and H. E is F. D has two. I and H. C has three. So we take the smaller of B, E, and G. B has one successor, which is C, which is the same for A, has one successor, which is C. And then the start node uh, will have uh, two successors, so smaller of A and B's latest start. And that will give you the critical path. That, that will give you uh, the, uh, uh, the uh, it does the critical math, it, it, it calculates the four numbers, early start, early finish, latest start, latest finish, just like what we did by hand in another video on a simpler problem. I can calculate the slack. The slack is equal to the latest finish minus the earliest finish, or it's the latest start minus the earliest start. It doesn't make any difference. Anything that is has a zero or means it's on the critical path. I can use conditional formatting for that. New rule. Second choice. If that cell value is equal to zero, let's change the color of that to something. How about red? Those are your critical path activities. Okay, so that's a, a problem that gets you um, how you can do the critical path in Excel using Excel formula. Make a note that when you calculate the early start and the latest finish, it is not a one-time formula that you can copy down. You, it, it is the very function of the network. Thanks.